right, folks, so I am going to go over, hopefully you can see me. Um, I'm in the man cave, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to go over what it shows for my DNA. Remember, I did a 23andMe a little bit uh, ago. Excuse me, it was kind of gross. Uh, basically, I got the results back, and it's pretty unique how it breaks down. And I'm going to include a screenshot of the It basically says that I am 84.7% Sub-Saharan African and 11.3% European, 2.8% East Asian and Native American, 0.2% South Asian and 1% unassigned, <clears throat> excuse me, unassigned. I don't know if that means alien from outer space or what, but something that they could not even identify. So when it comes to the breakdown of Sub-Saharan African, West African, which includes like Ghana, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, places like that, it is 77.9%. When it comes to uh, Central and South African, so obviously South Africa, um, I don't know, those other countries in between, probably Democratic Republic of Congo, those places, 3.8%. Um, when it comes to East African, like Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Somalia, it's like less than 0.1%, so it's like basically zero and broadly sub-saharan africa so basically all over africa three percent so i found that pretty interesting now this is interesting european um it says northwestern european it's 8.5 percent so that includes places like um uh what is it uh, finland sweden norway england Kind of strange, but it says British and Irish 4.1%. Um, and then broadly, uh, Northwestern Europe, which again, like I said, is going to be Finland. I mean, when you look at the map, it shows Finland, Sweden, Norway, uh, what is that? Iceland, I think, or something up there. There's another piece of something that's far up. Um, and of course, England, and that is 4.4% out of that 8.5%. And then Southern European, which is the uh, Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain and Italy, Greece, all of that is about 1.5% Southern European. So that includes like Spain, like I said, uh, when it, it considers Iberian, it's 0.1%. Broadly Southern European is 1.3%. And then overall, broadly European, mean, meaning all over Europe, is 1.4%. Then when it goes to East Asian and Native American, I'm 2.8%. So as far as Native American goes, I'm 1.7% Native American. And then when it comes to Southeast Asia, this more specifically did not say I had any percent worth of Japanese, Korean, uh, Chinese or anything like that. However, there is 0.8% in Southeast Asia and the countries that showed were like Malaysia, Cambodia, Vietnam, um, Indonesia. So it showed those places. I have 0.8% of that. And then uh, broadly East Asian and Native American, meaning that pretty much kind of anywhere. So it could be any place within North and South America uh, and all over Asia is 0.2% of that. So out of the 2.8%, 1.7%, Native American 0.8% of that would be Southeast Asian and then 0.2% of that all over the place. South Asian, um, this is basically referring to populations of India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, that type of thing. It's 0.2%, so still very, 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 very low. When it says unassigned, it says there's a wide range of human diversity out there and sometimes our algorithms are unable to assign a region of DNA to a specific population. 
As we collect more data and update our algorithm, we expect that amount of unassigned ancestry seen by customers will be will decrease. So it's pretty interesting um, how that's actually calculated. But um, yeah, to go back through, now that I'm clicking on this, and sorry, I'm gonna be looking down. West Africa, which is the bulk of who I am, 77.9%. Senegal to Nigeria. West Africa composes about a fifth of the African continent. West Africans have a long shared history and were united by large empires such as the Ghanaian Empire dating as far back as the 8th, 8th century AD. Other empires later succeeding making West Africa a region of strong common heritage. Uh, central Africa is the Central African Republic uh, to the north and Angola to the south. Southern Africa uh, encompasses uh, Namibia, South Africa, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. I was 3.8% of that. And again, when it comes to Southeast Asia, the countries I mentioned, uh, basically located in the south, located at the south of China, it extends from Burma to Indonesia, those types of places. Um, so it's pretty cool. What I also found pretty interesting was it also broke down my father and mother's DNA in terms of what haplogroup group that they belong in. And it even looks at the Neanderthal ancestry. So it is, for me, there are 40 Neanderthal variants, uh, which is extremely low. Uh, the highest person had 397 variants of Neanderthal, Neanderthal ancestry. So basically, I have a very, very, very small amount. Uh, of course, it says the uh, Neanderthal uh, folks are from the Neander Valley, which is around Germany, that type of thing. So I only have basically just 40 variants of that out of, I think, 400 and something. I'm not sure how many they actually have. So anyhow, um, it says Neanderthals were ancient humans who interbred with modern humans before becoming extinct 40,000 years ago. This report tells you how much your, of your ancestry can be traced back to the Neanderthal. So it's pretty, pretty cool. I have to say this 23andMe is really, really interesting. Um, some of the stuff my mother didn't know, you know, always when you're growing up, people say, well, you're a part of this and a part of that. And I heard such and such was this and that. Um, but really and truly, she was kind of shocked by the fact that, you know, we have people from India in our family somewhere along the line far back and that possibly someone from Vietnam, which is kind of uh, similar, I guess some of the people are similar to Chinese um, in the family, a small amount. Uh, the European side of things, she didn't really know because, I mean, obviously people don't know. Slavery probably paid a, played a huge part in that, as it has with many uh, black Americans when you're looking at European ancestry. Uh, but it also goes through a lot more details. They've sent me stuff asking about health-related questions so they can compile more information and there's more things that you can do to actually fine-tune it and get it, uh, get more information about yourself. The cool thing is, is that since I've actually done my 23andMe and Noelle has done her 23andMe, the children are able to actually see exactly what they are, where they, um, uh, their family history is from. So I thought you guys would enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to include snapshots of what it actually showed in the video. Hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I will see you. Take care.